Spring is all about growth. So this year I'm focusing on my personal and spiritual growth. Everything is bathed in sunlight. It's time to open the curtains and let it pour through the windows. Some of my plants haven't been getting enough sun, so this was a great time to set them out, as well as open the windows and let in some fresh air. It's the perfect day for spring cleaning. We recently shampooed our carpets and refreshed all of our bedding. My altar needs cleaning as well. I've gotten busy and neglected it, which is so disrespectful. There are old Christmas ornaments, wax stains, and cat fur and litter. Gee, I wonder why. To clean and cleanse my altar, I'm going to start by removing the seasonal items. Then I'm going to take everything else off. I'll use an altar brush to purify the ritual space and remove negative energies. Afterwards, I took the altar cloth outside, barefoot of course, so I could ground with the earth. I gently beat the cloth to remove any hair and dust. Once it's clean, I placed it back on the altar and put every item back in its place. I have a special place for these candles. Air to inspire, fire my desire, water my healer, and earth my church. I do a lot of candle spells, so I use these a lot. Now that everything is in its place, I make a fresh offering of flowers. Next, I put my crystals back. Quartz is good for cleansing and raising the vibrations. Selenite is good for charging other stones. I also use salt and moon water to cleanse tools, stones, and the ritual space. If you haven't incorporated bells into your practice, I highly recommend them. I fill my entire room with their chimes to cleanse, protect, and drive away bad auras. Not only that, but they're pretty. Lastly, I sage using a new stick I got from my sister. The colors seemed appropriate for the season. Sage is good for cleansing tools, stones, any object, or your altar as well as the air. Remember, you can't set up an altar and expect it to do all the work. It requires regular cleansing and charging. I hope I've given you some ideas on how to cleanse your ritual space. As always, thank you for watching.